I got this gas heater. It was on sale for $99 at Lowe's. Very tempted. Took me a while to go back and get it. But they had it. So I'm gonna try to put it together. See if I, usually I can put stuff together. If it's not that complicated. It looks like it might not be that complicated. And I would buy some when they uh, have us on the city, have us on a a tester program for throwing out bulk items. They, they're not gonna um, pick up any, so I guess until December. So they wrapped it with blue, which is cool. They wrapped it with blue protector. Stainless steel. Something like this, it usually take me just maybe 30 minutes to an hour to put together. I'm just gonna take it out the box. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna go in and put it together today. Got everything looking tight. I did. I had to go back and get my propane tank, but it's not a bad deal for $99. I've never, well, I've done propane before for a uh, uh, barbecue grill. I'm trying to see how many parts. I mean, for that's not to do with my hand. That's the job. The hardest part of job of the job, putting this patio heater heater up, is the plastic. I love gadgets and putting things together. Long as it's not long, enduring, complex. But even the complex things, I'll take my time and put it together. But what I don't like. Is the complexity of pulling this stuff off this blue liner even though it's great for protecting for purpose of travel to make sure any scratches don't go but whoever wraps it they wraps it real well and this is where most of your time will go is pulling this off it's not so much of the preparation it's the preparation is taking the blue tape off Blue plastic. You can't leave it on. It's everywhere. They did their job to protect your space heater. When I say they did it, inside and out.
This is the first time our door is being opened this over the space heater. But in order to get the tape off, I have to open the space heater. I'm not gonna unassemble this whole door or this bracket just to take blue tape off. <sighs> I can tell you they did their job. Look. This is where time goes. And it's so thin. But I am th thankful for them. Yeah, I'm gonna take it all off. See the complexity of it, even the small thing? They did their job. Because they put it on before they even screwed everything in. Some of it I may not be able to get on. I'll take that back. The most complicated part is putting this part on to the base. Um, the alignment is not just exact. Well, well, I couldn't show you the whole process, but I'm almost complete. All I have to do is put the dome part on. Who say women can't do it? But I will advise if you're putting up your space heater, wear some gloves. Because not, you can get a cut like I did. These metals uh, are real sharp. The edges are real, real sharp. So if you have delicate skin like mine, it's easy to cut yourself. It's very sharp. Even getting the blue paper off, I found that that is the most time consuming out of putting it together. Me procrastinating, of course, but normally to put something this up should take no more than 15 to 30 minutes to put up. But, but I'm putting the dome part together as you see putting the dome part and I just have that disc so I can put it in my gray space heater I've also found out when I was talking to Lowe's they said the cheapest place to get your butane tank is at Walmart so look, it's a couple of dollars cheaper well I'm not doing all that. Even though I, they forgot to give me mine and I had to go back in to get it. I've had this about, almost about three or four days. And I was tempted not to get it. Uh, I know at the store that I went, the majority of the people got it, just probably about one or two left. And they were still $99. But I'm sure since it's fall, if you didn't get it, it's pretty much all of them are gone. Or either the stores in your area may have went up back up on prices. But... I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I made this patio on my own with these square bricks. I did not do nothing, digging nothing. I just let smother the grass out on my own. This is something just quick and simple. I'm still working on my fall. I have my sage. I have my grapes growing over here. I got even some leaks that you can't tell but there's leaks down there i have a strawberry area see my lemongrass two types of sages pineapple sage and regular sage i have my lavender and my rosemary then i have my purple basil thigh basil and sweet basil i'm still adding on to my patio i still have a long ways to go i had to revamp this area because there are roots so my cousin gave me some garlic that he said they were growing out of control. So I planted a lot of them along this road. And as you can see, here's one, two peeking up uh, already. I got my blueberry bush put in where I put that, removed that big bark at. Move diamond. This is the only problem I have is my pooch getting in my bed. And even though I, I want to have cantaloupe, it's just like, it's hard no matter what I put down that is just 
grow so much and then I'm dealing with bugs eating my leaves. So I gotta consistently put bug eater down. And I didn't want to use any chemicals. I've tried natural base, it didn't work. I cleared off this part of the patio because this is the original section right here. Only thing I added when I first started these bricks, I was gonna do these right here, concretes, um, which is 5, 10, 15. And I did this. I removed two spaces here because I had a big tree root was about the size of a bark that was growing underneath the ground and underneath the house that I had to get. That was what was smothering my plants on this side and I removed the white fences. And for those that have watched my video, they know this is my uh, peppermint, my um, spearmint, my sweet mint, my lemon balm, and I just added addition some trees. I have these white fences to block and separate and control the the mint and so i planted a blackberry tree i got some chocolate mint and i have to clean that weed so excuse the mess and the raspberry bush tree hey i always have to uh, fuss at my pooch um as i stated i'm still working on this side over here but i did add some flowers over here i added some bee balm and some chalmo and some lilies, even though you can't see it, but I've made a lily bed in front of my window. I have to clear out this space hopefully today uh, to get it off the air conditioner unit. I wonder what this pooch is all right up about. She, I cut down a tree, like I stated. I got, it cost me getting bit. Oh, it's the FedEx guy. That's what diamond is. This is my part of my front yard. This I killed this, but I don't want to do anything because of the bird nest up here. Kind of, but I do got to clear this off the brick. But this is the large area that I have to do today, since it's a beautiful fall day. And I'm gonna add more bricks. I just hadn't made it down. These look 12 by 12 concrete. I just have not made it down uh, back to Lowe's or Home Depot to get some more. And I just hadn't, I, I could order them online, but I don't like the wait time. So it's easy to go pick them up. So today is fall. And so these are my projects <laughs> that I gotta do. So yes, I got the garden too. And in our location, they're not coming to pick up brush and large bucks so we got them in different piles and boxes and stuff that when they come either i'm gonna have to haul it to the city or either when it because we only have a so much that we can put down i'm gonna either haul it to the city or go in and wait to december till they start back pick it up again but i did want to show you how far i have gotten and so i'm definitely almost done i just got to do the added touch on my beautiful heater but i couldn't resist in showing you all the different projects that i have going i just could not resist who say women can't do nothing you put your heads together it is called you got to have that energy you just have to have the energy and i want to say this tip I always keep a of the butane if you're in a windy city that tank is going to be needed to stay inside of there because this uh metal is so aluminum is so thin a storm can blow it off if it's not if it's not done if it's nothing heavy in it you're gonna have to put bricks in it or you're gonna have to uh, you either put bricks in it or something heavy if you're not going to have a tank in it so it won't get blown away in the wind. Texas have wind. Uh, it's a windy day today. And so I noticed it was wobbling, but I'm still working on mine. So just a tip. Just remember, don't leave it empty and thinking if you're uh, you need something heavy in there to keep it weighed down. So, who say girls don't rock? <laughs> girls rock. 
you put your mind to it, you can do anything. I've been single for years. It's not that I